What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and this week I'm going to be doing a beginner's guide in Audacity. So, Audacity. Now, this is the layout of how everything will look. It's pretty straightforward. Up here you have your control buttons. Right here is the record button. But before you even start recording, you need to make sure you're going to be recording using the microphone you want to. So the first thing you do is come over here, which is the audio host. And as you'll see, we have MME, Windows Direct Sound or Windows Wasapi. Now, completely up to you which one you pick. Personally for me, I usually either pick MME or Wasapi. From there, you can see it shows a microphone symbol. Now here is where you select your microphone. So I know my microphone is a Rode NT-USB and it is showing right there. Now in some cases, if you don't see your microphone, then come to your speaker down here, right click it and select recording devices. Now make sure it is active so you can see mine right here is active, right click it and make sure it is not disabled and then from there apply and OK and restart your audacity. Here we have uh, two stereo which is the one you definitely want to otherwise it will be one earphone. And then the final one is the output so where you're going to be playing it back from. So it can either be for this one right here that's my TV or it can be the laptop one. So I'm gonna keep it at my laptop. Now I do also have earphones plugged into my laptop, but still it's this one right here, which is my laptop. So you can customize the layout and you'll see these, uh, this bar next to everything you can actually move. So here, all of these tools, here the uh, microphone inputs and levels, and then here for the audio. So I can move this uh, video or the controls up here you can see just like that, I can move the magnifying stuff or the tools down here. And then we can also just say, for example, move this. And you can see just like that, I've customized the layout. And of course you can play around with it to make sure it's comfortable for you. However, when I use Audacity, I've always kept it the exact same layout. Now, if you have a mess up on your toolbar and you just want to go back to normal, come to view toolbars and select reset toolbars. You can see everything's now back to the default. As I'm talking, you can see right here, the recording level is showing up. So this is a good way to make sure you're not speaking too loud or the levels on your microphone isn't too loud. Now, if you are talking too loud like this, you can see I'm now hitting the red. Um, if that is the case and you're speaking at a normal tone, what I recommend is either lowering your voice or putting the microphone away from your mouth. Or if that is still not the case and it's still coming out really loud, you can see right here is your microphone levels. You can see if I turn this down, you can see it's now gone really low. But I can turn it up and we can find a good place. And preferably you want to be hitting around minus 9 to minus 6, not too high. So I can't really show you the tools yet until I've actually recorded something. So right now I'm going to record something. So to record, you can see you can press Shift R on your keyboard as a shortcut. Or you can select this button right here. Audacity Beginner's Guide Tutorial. And once you're done recording, you want to select that stop button and that completely stops the recording. Now, while I was showing you the monitoring le levels up here, as you play it back, you can also see the playback level here as well. So if I play it through one more time, way too loud straight away. So let's say you have recorded a long 20 minute video. It's a bit too late to change your microphone levels now. So what you can do is actually change it the playback gain. So over here to the side, you can change it to maybe minus eight and um, just watch out for the levels and then we'll see. That sounds much more better and it's much more cleaner and there's less distortion. So getting onto some of the tools, this first one right here is a selection tool. So simply left click, you can highlight areas. Um, for example, if you want to add some effects, which we will get onto later on, but we can also trim parts here. So for example, um, I don't start talking till there. So this beginning part we don't really need. So I can highlight it with the selection tool and I can press delete on my keyboard to remove it. If I make a mistake, I can always press control Z to bring everything back. Alternatively, you can come over to edit and you can see it says undo. Now you can highlight all of your track by pressing control A just like that. And that will be useful for you uh, when you come to adding effects to a whole track. And you can also come here and select this box and the whole track is selected like that. Next, we have the envelope tool. Now, this will be good if your uh, volume is too loud at some point or if it's too quiet. So, for example, right here, I'm going to turn this part down and then I'm going to add some more envelopes just to make it match up. And then same for this one. 
We also have a draw tool which we cannot use how we are currently positioned, you actually need to be zoomed in. And that brings me onto my next tool which is the zoom tool. So you click it and then you can, you can see you can left click and drag and zoom into an area you want to. So for example I've highlighted this, if I let go of my mouse you can see it's zoomed into that specific part I wanted to be zoomed into. Alternatively you can just find a position and just left click and you can see it'll gradually zoom in like that. And just simply right click and as you'll see as I'm right clicking, I zoomed out. We then have the time shift tool, basically moving where this is on the timeline. So if I was to record again, okay, I'm going to test this out. Now you'll notice uh, as soon as I press record, it started on another track, but it also overlapped what I've already recorded. So we need to move it on and that's where this tool comes into play. So we can just simply move this here and then we can trim that part where I stopped talking, which is right there. Delete, we can trim out this first part and delete. We can use that tool to drag this here. And you can see it also snaps on right there with that yellow line. So again, the gain, I can put it to minus seven and hopefully that sounds better. Now, if you ever mess up one of the tracks or you just want to remove a track, you can see here it has an X next to it, just select it and that track has been removed. If you want it back, press control Z and it comes back. Now the next one we have, or the final one we have, is the multi-tool mode. Now you can basically have full control of all these tools in one button. So we have the envelope tool, we have the selection tool, magnifying tool, I'm not too sure if we actually have, I don't think so. But if you hold control, you can see we have the time shift tool. Now when playing back, if you want to play back in a specific area, so for example, I'll pick right here. Come up to the timeline, left click and drag out and you'll see these grey arrows have been created. So if I play that now, you can see I just let go of my mouse and that area will play. Now another thing you can do is choose the playback speed. So you can see over here it says play at speed, it's currently set to 1x which is the normal. So if I turn that up, so to test it out you'd have to press play at speed from here, like that and of course just set it back to normal if you don't like it. So next thing I'm going to be doing is showing you how to add some effects. So highlight the area you want to add the effect. So for example, maybe just this portion right here I've highlighted is where I want an effect. I'm going to head over to effect and let's change a pitch because it's going to be pretty obvious to notice the difference. So I'm going to turn it down and if I select preview, that gives us a preview. Um, I'm going to select OK and you can see it's sort of extended out. But if I play it through, this is how it sounds. Audacity tutorial. So you can see just like that, uh, we only highlighted that area and that's the area that got affected. So if you want to add it onto the entire track, make sure this is all selected. Press Ctrl A or select this box up here. Come over to Effect and then from here, let's see which one we can pick. So I will pick Echo or actually I'll pick Change Tempo since you all know which one it is. And I'm going to speed it up and then if I select Preview, Audacity Guide Tutorial. And I select OK. You can see that's now shortened down if I play it through. Audacity Guide Tutorial. You can tell the difference like that. Now there's one more thing I want to be showing you and that's actually how to record the system audio. So anything you play back on your computer, how to make Audacity pick up that sound. It's something I've used in the past as well. What I'm going to do is make sure this is set to Windows Wasapi. Then for the microphone, what you're going to be picking is your speakers. Now what you want to do though is come over to the speakers first and you want to make sure it's set to whichever the audio is coming out of. So right now you can see my audio is coming out of Samsung. So I'm going to change that to Samsung because that's where I want the audio. Then the microphone. I'm going to look for Samsung which is right here. I'm going to select it and I'm going to keep it at two stereo. So if I press the uh, record button you can see it's going to be no sound, of course, because there's no sound playing. But if I just do this, you can see that's been picked up right there. So, for example, right now I have KSI's song up, Little Boy, which is of course is those discs to Road to Shore. But I also have Audacity up. So you're going to see, as I play the music, it will also come up in Audacity. Okay, there we go. Don't want to get copyright. But, oh, but... <laughs> Um, there you go, you can see it recorded. Um, as your, That's another thing I should mention, um, I accidentally pressed the X then, and you'll notice when I press that X, it actually stopped the recording. So be aware of that, 
Um, make sure you don't press that X while you're recording because otherwise you're going to be mad with no audio. But you can see his song was picked up here and I can play it back from here and you'll see it sounds the exact same. It's in good quality. And then of course uh, we can highlight this specific area, come over to effect, we can change the pitch or something, we can put it to a uh, high pitch, select OK, and you'll now hear that this music is like this. So you can make quite a lot of effects, and I've also downloaded some other effects so you might not be able to see everything I have right here. But you'll definitely have everything above this faint line you're seeing. Now I've done plenty of tutorials in Audacity in the past, one showing you how to make your voice quality sound a lot better, I'm actually using it right now for this tutorial to make the microphone quality a lot better, and it also shows you how to remove background noises, and there's a lot of cool effects you can do which you can check out in the playlist.